It's Fit and 50 here. I hope you guys are having a fan freaking fantastic day. Uh, in this episode, we are going to take the last four episodes and we're going to condense them down into uh, one neat little dosage of knowledge, and then we're going to wrap it up in a pretty little package just in time for Christmas. So, as I go through this, I'm going to have the links come up to the last four episodes as we cover that area. So if you want to get a little more in-depth look, you can click on it, then come right back here. Um, and of course, if you haven't seen any of them, the first link that comes up is going to be on calories. Click on it, follow the videos all the way through to this one here, and it'll make a lot more sense. Now we are going to start in the first video we talked about calories. Now I'm going to put a calorie calculator in the description, which is the one I used to get these calculations. And... Uh, I put a couple others in the first episode if you want to go back and check those out. But anyway, in the calorie calculator, you have to put in your age. So I'm 51, so I put 51 in. It asks for your height, 5 foot 9, I'm 5 foot 9, so I put 5 foot 9 in. It asks for your weight, 167 pounds. I am not 167 pounds, but it's going to work out good for calculations later on. So I decided to stick with 167 pounds. Sex, male, I checked. Unquestionably male. Alrighty. So... Activity level, it asks for next. It gives you four choices, inactive, somewhat active, active, or very active. Um, I chose for what we're doing here, active. Anybody who's training is going to be somewhere between the somewhat active to the very active. Somebody who's somewhat active, you go to the gym three times a week, you have a desk job. When you leave your house, you uh, get in your car, which is attached to your house, or your condo, and you drive to work, and you're basically sitting all day at work. You're more than likely going to be somewhat active. Um, but this is a this is a baseline. You can see, like from somewhat active 2150, you're all the way up to 2750. So there is some room for flexibility in there as you're figuring it out, and you're gonna fine tune this as you go along based on results. So the next, you need to know what is your goal. Well, if your goal is to gain weight, then you're gonna add 200 to 300 calories per day to this number. So you're gonna be 2550 to 2650. Now, if your goal is to lose weight then you're going to cut 500 calories per day, so you're going to be down to about 1850. Now why do we add less calories uh, than we take off when we're trying to get gain? Well that's simply because to lose 50 pounds in a year is a very doable goal. But to gain 50 pounds of muscle in a year isn't. So if you want to gain 5 pounds in a year, that's a more realistic uh, goal to set for yourself and you're not going to need a whole ton of calories to do that, you're just going to get fat. So that's why you add less. And actually with myself, now that I've gotten really in tune to where I'm at, I actually tend to add calories based on 100. So I'll add 100 or cut back 100 based on what it is I'm trying to accomplish. And I can make that small of an adjustment work for me. Okay, now the other option, of course, is to maintain weight. And for these calculations, that's what we're going to call our goal. So we're going to actually use the active number of 2350 to maintain our activity weight. So then remember we did the episode on what is your body fat level and that's because to figure out our protein we need to know our lean body mass. So we estimated my body fat level at about 10 percent and it also works good for math. So a 167 pound man with 10 percent body fat has 16.7 pounds of fat on him. So then we take that 16.7 pounds and we subtract it from the 167 pounds and that gives us 150.3 pounds of lean body mass. Now I'm just going to use the 150 for calculations purposes. So when we want to go figure out our protein, and we start with our protein, remember the bros are always saying, got to have our protein. So we start with protein, that's for muscle repair and recovery. And uh, so we take that 150 pounds of lean body mass. Now I'm times it in this case by 1.5 grams per pound of protein. Now if you're a leaner guy, or you're on a cut, you're going to want to have more protein. If you're bulking, you can use less protein. Or if you're like 20% body fat, you don't need as much protein. So you can actually go into the lower range of the protein and you can go back to that episode if you want to see a bit more about the, the ranges. Okay, so now down here, once we've times that 1.5 grams to 150 pounds, we get 225 grams. Now remember, there's 4 calories per gram. So we times the 4 calories to the 255 grams, and we come up with 900 calories of protein. So that number we're going to end up subtracting off of this number, and that's our remaining cal uh, calories for our fats and carbs. Now to figure out our fats, I chose the percentage. I like to use the percentage 
Uh, if you go back to that episode again, you'll also be able to see how to use lean body mass if you wish. But I take my total calories, which is a 2,350, times it by 30%, which is the high end of the fats. And once again, as a leaner guy, I could go with less fats and more carbs. But because of my lifestyle, I, have a, I really love my fatty foods, so I've decided to keep the uh, fats a little bit higher. This is a good time to remember that uh, you need to set up a diet that is uh, workable for you, but also reaches your goals. So that's one of the things I did as adjustment is I kept my fats a little bit higher. Uh, now if you're uh, bulking, again, you can actually keep your fats a little lower. If you're a lean guy, you can have your fats a little lower. If you're actually a heavier guy, higher body fat, like 20%, you should also have to keep your fats up in the more upper range. So anyway, that works out to 705 calories. So to figure out your carbs, what is remaining is your carbs. So we have to take our original number of 2,350, Subtract off our 705 for the fats, our 900 for the proteins, and that gives us 745 calories for our final amount that is going to be allocated to carbs. So now the big question is, that's great, that's a lot of numbers. How do we magically turn that into real food? Well, next episode I am going to take this and magically turn it into real food. So until then, if you found this video useful at all, please Click the like button if you found anything in form over that you can use. If you know somebody who wants to uh, learn more about their diet and they want to have the effort in their diet to match the effort they're putting in the gym and they, you think they'd like to learn from a fly guy in a bow tie, share this video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. That way you won't miss a single episode and you'll be able to see how to design your own diet plan, how to take these numbers and put it and turn it into food on your plate. So until the next episode, this is Fit50, signing off, keep working out, keep having fun.